Why do you think about steroids in baseball? I think it's a horrible thing. The pride of America is not so proud these days. The game has changed. The black cloud that follows the sport refuses to pass. Again, an illegal substance casts its ugly shadow on the diamond. But this time, it's the Junior League diamond. I cover the Bronx Bandits and uncovered who the locals are calling the Baby Bomber. Why would you let them play? It's not right. What about the other kids? It's not fair to the other kids. There's no way he should get up. It's, it's dangerous. You can hit a line drive and hurt somebody. <laughs> I'm not a rat, but I'm only stating the facts. Take a look at them. As the Junior League Championship game approaches, allegations of Bronx Bandit's star player Salvatore Romano has surfaced. Due to his rapid increase in size and sudden surge in home runs, which nears the Junior League home run record. Now batting number seven, Salvatore Romano. There you go, Salvatore. Don't worry about it, Sal. They're jealous because the kids suck. Romano has single-handedly given this once lowly Bronx team a chance for a Junior League title as they head to the championship for the first time in 20 years. Despite having no hard facts, many locals are convinced of the allegations. It's not fair. Not to the other kids. He had an advantage that they didn't with the steroids. So if he breaks the record, then they're going to put an asterisk next to it anyway. Who wants a record with a mark on it? As the anger and questions get louder from the local parents, junior league officials seem to get quieter. There's no story here. I mean, I wish I, wish I could give you something, but there's really nothing. That's all they are. They're accusations. Uh, they're allegations. They're anything you want to call them. The phone keeps ringing about this, and people have to understand they're nothing more than allegations. All right, outfield, third base. Here we go. In search of answers, I questioned oh, the head good. coach of the Bandits about the discrepancy in his team's performance. Oh, you all right? Take out Romano's 12 for 14 with 14 RBIs and 10 homers, but your overall team's batting average is minuscule, 0.093, 3 for 84 over the last three games, but you still managed to win. Can you please explain? Defense, sweetie. Defense wins championships. Many also believe that the foul play stems from the boy's father. Guys essentially put his kid in harm's way. That tells you what kind of father he is. The Romanos insist they have nothing to hide, so they've allowed our cameras inside their home and an exclusive one-on-one -on -one with the baby bomber. Salvatore, thank you for joining us. Don't thank me. Uh, Salvatore, how does a young boy like you become the baby bomber? Breaks his ass for it, that's how. All right, we come from a long line of bricklayers, honey, okay? My dad was a bricklayer, my grandfather's a bricklayer, he's got an aunt who's a bricklayer. Then I got him on protein shakes, power bars, nutrition stuff, and also I got him on a, on a really good sleep regimen. Hey, Paul, wake up. It's time to go. I'm going to make your eggs. Come on. Come on. What do you, what do you got to wake him up like that for? What are you showing off for the cameras? I'm going to show you off for the cameras in a second, okay? Listen to me. I didn't invite these Hollywood homos into my house. Oh, your house. Why? All of a sudden you pay the bills around here? <laughs> You're doing good, kid. Keep going. It's all right. Salvatore, so your training has become somewhat of a spectacle in the Bronx. Tell us about that. Answer the letter. Um, it's different. How's it different? It's just different. How's it different? It's just different. What you call different, others may say excessive or even abusive, especially for a 12-year-old boy. Faster. Go, go. Keep it going. That's it, that a boy. Keep it going. All right, Sal, let go of the rock. Let go of the rock! There's been some accusations about your parenting. Some people are saying some scary things. Sal, do me a favor. Pick up these balls, okay? Come on, real quick for daddy. Who's saying what about what now? Well, the community. The community? Honey, we're in the Bronx, okay? This ain't a community, it's a neighborhood, it's full of rats. 
I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Mary Grace Chicamani, how she ratted me out to the CCD. Let me tell you something. Her husband uses illegal Mexicans to cut a lawn. Okay? Put that in your video. The Bronx Tribune reported that your son used testosterone, an anabolic steroid. What's the truth? The truth is that my son is the picture of health. Okay, this is genetics. Does anger and rage run in the Romano genes? Did you play baseball when you were a young boy? Sure did. Yeah, how'd you do? Did great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You ever played baseball when you were a young kid? I sure did, I played softball. Fantastic. I hear a lot of lesbians play softball. They might. Salvatore, what would breaking the all-time junior league home run record mean to you? Uh, I, I want to thank the, the front office. The other one's stupid. Oh. Okay. I, I means I get first overall draft pick. That's right. Um, I get a signing bonus. That's right. Oh, and we get one of those new cell phones. Yeah. Push to talk. <laughs> For dad. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good kid. <laughs> well, thank you both so much for joining me. Good luck on the championship game. Yeah, we don't need it. <laughs> I am at the Junior League Championship Parade, where later today the Bandits take on the New Rochelle Cougars, which should be an exciting game as Romano goes for the record. How you feeling, Sal? You got your protein shake? You're all ready to go? I'm okay. I'm good. I'm feeling good today. We're walking in the parade. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Where's your father? My father is going to be here later for the game. He wasn't allowed in the parade, actually, today. But oh, why not? I don't know. Well, that's okay. All right, here we go. Go Bandits. Adding to the controversy, the ceremonial first pitch is being tossed out by local Junior League home run king, James McKino. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yeah. And now to introduce the all-time junior league home run record holder, the tower of power, the sultan of thwart, the hero of luge, James McKino. Come on, be great. I got it. All right, guys. Oh, wait, nice yeah. to see you. Hey, remember me? I remember you. Yeah, you still got that list. Yeah, you do. Can we get a picture, Oh, sure, of course. Guys? The whole team oh, yeah. Together. Sure, it'll be great. All Let's right. Let's do that. All right. Ready? Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right. How you doing, pal? My father says you're a d bag. I'm going to destroy your record. Really? Well, when you get caught juicing, pal, and your father goes away to prison, I'm going to be your new daddy. <laughs> Good luck today, champ. James Lutino, James Lutino. Now we'll just see what the championship game and the winner gets this trophy. All right, let's go, Bandits! If the home run record and the championship game wasn't enough pressure, the new Rochelle Cougars take on the challenge of defending their seventh year winning streak. And Cougars coach Heckman is not happy about this situation. The kids aren't steroids. You see, none of my kids are on roids, they're not on steroids. Anything you can do about it? Yeah, I don't want him to play no more. And that's it. I got to go. Well, Coach, can I, I got one more Team! Question? Team! Come here! But the crowd came to see a game. And the kids came to play. So maybe, just for a moment, we can all enjoy some good old American baseball. Put your hands in here. All three! One, two, three! New show! And us!
the all-time record and to seal the championships for the Bandits. Oh, do we have cameras on this? Seems that Salvatore's father has jumped the fence, is running to the field. Hey, hey, cross your ball. Hey, hey, do huh? Come on, coach, get him off, coach! Sal, a man gets a chance like this just once in his life, okay? And I never got my chance. You know why? I never got up. I was on the bench all the time, Sal. That's why I'm so hard on you, because I was on the bench every day of my life. But you, you got a chance. You're my chance, Sally. Come on up, get rid of him, oh, 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 I'm having a heart to heart with my son, you creepy bastard. Take a walk. He's not in the batter's box in 30 seconds. He's out. Take a walk. He'll be in the batter's box. Shut up! Come on, no, come on. That's not right. Shut up. That's not right. You know what? Go pay attention to losing. Hit the ball, Sal. Hit the ball. Nunzio is leading the field, and the crowd is dying with anticipation. Finally, the moment we have been waiting for. seven-time champions from New Rochelle. Even I got caught up in the excitement. Not only did the Baby Bomber win the game for his team, he has broke the home run record. I'm here at the home of the Romanos. It's been six months since Salvatore hit the game-winning home run and won the championship. So, Teresa, tell me, how have things changed for you all since that day? Oh, they've been talking to each other a lot now. It's unbelievable. This kid's breath is just absolutely awful. The cameras are rolling. I don't care if the cameras are rolling. Unbelievable. Anyway, what were you saying? Yeah, we're talking all the time. That's great. Everything's fantastic. Kid's in a, in a, in a prep school now in the area. It's great. I don't have to pay nothing for it. And uh, he got invited to a baseball invitational in Japan. Woo! Good. So it's, it's a happy ending. They don't boo me no more. Oh, they don't. Why is that? Because he's a champion, huh? Listen, all you got to do is hit the home run. And everybody loves you again. After my experience with Salvatore in the Junior League, I learned that America's pastime is not just the game of baseball, but also the families that are involved in it. I got to witness firsthand the powerful impact that parents have on their children, both positive and negative. And although we may never know the truth about the accusations against the baby bomber, I ask you to find the truth within yourself. Is it about winning and losing, or how you play the game? Susan Smith, Bronx 14. Hi, Susan! Susan! Hi. <laughs> Cut.